Literally millions of human beings have known the sensation of leaving their native Earth and soaring above the clouds. And still, there are many for whom flight still holds a sense of mystery and wonder. That that feeling is not wholly groundless is evidenced, perhaps, by the strange experience of Lieutenant Morand. Even as far back as 1923, there were those who realized that if war should ever come again, its outcome would be, in a large part, determined by air power. And so, in France, as in other nations of Europe, men were being rigorously trained in the techniques of flying, strafing, and bombing. Second Lieutenant Morand was a member of the embryonic French Air Force. And on the afternoon of September 22nd, he went aloft to engage in shooting practice over a field near Gadeau. In front of him, in the pilot seat, was Sergeant Jean Daubert. When I give you the signal, Sergeant, begin your dive. Right now! Not good, either. Let's go back at right again. The plane circled the field and once again approached the target. All right, Sergeant. Bravo, sir. You did it that time. You must have... Lieutenant, what is the matter? The sergeant stared at the man behind him in amazement. Lieutenant Morant had slumped back in his seat. His eyes were closed, and his face was distorted with pain. What is the trouble, Lieutenant? At that moment, the lieutenant fell forward, face down. And it was then that the sergeant saw the great red splotch spreading across his shoulders. Mon Dieu, he's been shot. Sergeant Aubert landed the plane as quickly as possible. And while the lieutenant was being lifted carefully from the cockpit and transferred to a waiting ambulance, he made his report to his commanding officer. We were a couple of hundred feet up, and there weren't any other planes in the air and nobody on the ground beneath us. It must have been his own machine gun that did it. One of the bullets ricocheted somehow off the ground or the target. It bounced back and hit him between the shoulders. I know it sounds crazy, but it could not... And so that was the explanation that was officially accepted, at least for a few hours. But later that afternoon, Sergeant Aubert dropped around to the emergency hospital to inquire about the lieutenant's condition. How is he doing, doctor? You had to operate? I had to remove the bullet. It was deeply embedded. Imagine a man getting hit in the back with a bullet from his own machine gun. I think you're mistaken, Sergeant. The bullet I just took out of his back came from a thirty-two revolver. But where the thirty-two revolver came from, no one has ever been able to learn. The official record of the case of Lieutenant Morand was changed from accidental injury from his own weapon to injury, either accidental or intentional, from a weapon in hands of a person unknown. And to this day, the origin of that bullet remains a subject for speculation. A mystery, incredible but true. (laughs) 